Hi, my name is Sabrina, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a DMA channel to your NEOS 2 embedded system. You can add a DMA to improve the throughput of your system by efficiently transferring data from memory to memory or from memory to I.O. What we have here is a NEOS 2 embedded system in SOPC Builder that contains the embedded processor and a basic set of peripherals. I'm going to add a DMA controller, some SD RAM memory, and an interface to an external Ethernet MAC device in order to demonstrate how to use the DMA controller to transfer from memory to I.O. First, I will add the SDRAM controller by simply selecting it from the list of components in SOPC Builder, clicking Add, which brings up the configuration wizard, and simply clicking Finish to select the defaults. Next, I will add an Avalon Tri-State Bridge to allow us to interface to the Ethernet MAC interface. Clicking Finish adds my Tri-State Bridge. Now for the Ethernet interface. I will add the DMA controller now, again by simply selecting it from the list, clicking Add, and bringing up the configuration wizard. In the DMA controller wizard, you can select the DMA length register, and you can also select whether you want the DMA FIFO to be implemented in registers or in embedded memory blocks. The advanced tab also lets you pick the allow transactions for your DMA controller. Clicking finish will add the second master to the system, which demonstrates how easy it is to add and create multi-master systems with SOPC Builder. You can see that the masters are displayed at the top of the screen and the slaves are displayed at the bottom. You can expand your view by selecting Show Master Connections and view the entire patch panel. This intuitive patch panel is how SOPC Builder shows you the relationship between masters and slaves. In this system, we are going to have the DMA read master master the SDRAM memory. We are then going to have the write master connect to the tri-state bridge. You can see the relationships here and that the user input is easy to make. The input of this patch panel is used by the Avalon Switch Fabric logic generator to dictate the logic that is created to interface your masters and your slaves. This concludes the demonstration and shows you how easy it is to create multi-mastered systems. We just added a DMA controller to increase the throughput of our system and you can use this method to add as many masters into your system as required.